Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at um, if you want to install Linux on a USB drive um, to work for Mac. Um, there are some others uh, out there, but they uh, don't necessarily work very well. Um, what's nice about this, the uh, Mac Linux USB loader, is it adds a uh, UEFI, um, kind of like a bootloader I guess, um, will, where it will work on most Macs. Now actually it doesn't work on my 2013 Mac Pro for uh, a different reason but uh, it seems to work on my other older Macs without any problem. So uh, we're going to take a look at um, installing it on a uh, USB disk. Now first thing I'm going to do is actually erase it. I, I have uh, another Linux distribution on there which I don't really like so I'm going to put on Mint Linux so uh, we're actually going to go to uh, Disk Utility and we're going to go ahead and uh, erase it and reformat it as well. And uh, just like that. And uh, here, let's go here. This will probably work a little bit better. There we go, just like that. and. Uh, I'm just going to put put it as Linux. Now we're going to also put it as MS DOS FAT, and then apply the master boot record uh, so it'll be able to be uh, to boot up. And then we're going to go ahead and erase it. Oops. And probably because it was in, uh, mounted, so. I'll, we're going to try it again. For some reason it didn't work. There we go. It worked that time because it was booted up. Or it was uh, mounted so uh, you have to unmount it or to be able to work in uh, Mac I guess. Okay just like so we're going to uh, go ahead and rename it. Well, actually, we'll call it Mint, I guess. Just like so. Okay, we'll go ahead and get out of uh, Disk Utility. And then we're going to go to Create. Well, I guess we got to set this up first. Got to hit Set Up USB Device. I'm not sure why. And then you can select Create Live USB. But what we're gonna actually going to do first is we're going to uh, distribution download because I'm actually gonna download a Linux distribution and you, they give you several that you can download. Uh, I happen to like uh, Mint Linux uh, right here. Now previously I installed Ubuntu which I didn't like because it uh, used the Unity desktop which I simply hate. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and download this distribution And uh, we're going to do the uh, United States of America 64-bit uh, and uh, begin download. And then uh, here you can see it'll show uh, download in progress. Uh, give you a status update of uh, uh, it downloading. In the uh, meantime, we're probably going to pause this uh, video and then come back once uh, it downloads completely and then uh, we'll do the rest of the installation on the USB disk. Okay we just uh, finally finished uh, downloading it. As you can see we don't have a uh, status bar anymore and right below more information you'll see uh, view and finder showing where it was downloaded and in this case a download folder on a uh, external drive Okay, we're going to try to get this uh, installed on the uh, USB disk. And uh, we're going to double click on Create Live CD. Um, it's going to ask us where this is downloaded. And let me see if I remember where this is downloaded.
Okay, uh, having a little trouble uh, trying to uh, access it where it's down exactly downloaded. So I think last time I did this too, I just uh, right clicked on it and then went to uh, Mac US Linux USB loader here. And uh, there it is right there. It gives us uh, where we want to install it. Of course, this is going to be on our USB drive. Uh, I guess included with application, which is uh, enterprise source for some reason. Uh, I'm definitely going to skip the boot selection menu. This ISO lacks an EFI Nervo care and all. Okay, hopefully that won't uh, uh, prevent it from uh, booting up. Okay, uh, here, once you do this, it goes in here and says to be able to gra uh, grant uh, access to the USB disk. We're simply going to click on that. And uh, as you can see there, it's actually starting the install procedure on the USB disk drive. Uh, we're going to come back in a couple of minutes uh, once it's installed and uh, take a look at it. Okay, uh, we just um, finished installation to the uh, USB disk drive and let's go check that out. And uh, it creates a folder called EFI and we've got boot. I believe this file right here um, um actually let's get a uh, get info yeah right here uh, boot.iso this is actually the f um, ISO that has the Mint Linux installed along with the uh, the bootloaders uh, which is the boot EFI and uh, boot x64.efi that it will allow you to boot it on your Mac computer so um, I am thinking I'm also going to be showing you the uh, boot up process as well um, after we test it first with the USB dongle installed you simply start up your computer using the option key until you hear the uh, the chimes and then um, I'm gonna wait uh, for it to boot up a little bit It'll give you an EFI boot option which you select and then depending on what Linux distribution you installed it should boot up into it. There you go, uh, I'm installed Mint Linux, Lin ah, Mint Linux right there.